After Pavel's death, I was on my own. Somehow I had to reach Black Station. Ullman would meet me there and take me to Polis. What is going on guys? Killer McKillcam here and this is another episode of Metro 2033 Redux. And this is still chapter 4. Man, chapter 4 was a long ass fucking level. But here it is, we're on defense. And you're just going to make your way through these tunnels, and you're not going to be in any danger until you get to the very end of the tunnels. You're going to see about four or five people. Uh, those guys are not your enemies. And you see those cans there? Those cans, I don't know the fuck I was looking at them. Uh, you can fucking uh, touch those cans in this all you want. Like I said, there's no danger until you get to the very end. And then you're going to see about four or five guys just standing around. And then you're going to go talk to the captain. And then you're going to have a shootout with a bunch of fucking creatures. Now, in this part of the chapter four, I did get the fire in the hole uh, trophy. And it is for killing 100 lurkers. So you'll see, you'll see me do that. I didn't kill 100 lurkers in this chapter. But this is where I got the trophy. And this is the captain that I'm talking about. Uh, talking about and later uh in outpost all right you get the dj art nim trophy when you're done with the shootout and you'll see what i'm talking about you have to pick up the cassette tape from this guy because if you do not and then you continue on to outpost uh you won't be able to get the dj art nim trophy so if you want the art the uh, dj art nim trophy you're gonna have to get the cassette tape from the guy when you're done with this fucking shootout and you'll see what i'm talking about and this you know, ain't bad. I mean, they're, they're going to overwhelm you a little bit. and Your screen's going to turn red. Just make sure that you have, you know, a med kit. At least two or three of them, I would say. And I think I used a couple of them even. And then, you know, at, at the end, you're going to be like knocked out or some shit. Dude, I don't know what the fuck happens. But you won't die uh, unless you let one of the creatures kill you, dude. So just have all three of your weapons... Uh, you know reloaded and full of ammunition and right behind where I'm standing not right now is a box full of ammunition just go over there hit the X button and you can refill on ammo and here's one part where you're gonna like fall out and then you're gonna wake up and there's gonna be a couple of them are gonna be dead and then like if you want what I would do if you don't have a shotgun I would grab that shotgun right there those shotguns are fucking badass there's like six it's like a six chamber shotgun and two of them will definitely kill these fucking uh creatures and then i don't think those flame bombs did me any good <laughs> uh but if you want to throw them in there i know those are two routes that the fucking creatures come from so i just threw them in there just to slow them down a little bit and i don't think that it did <laughs> any fucking good uh but yeah i mean this there's not much to explain in this level everything that i needed to explain to you i already explained to you uh, you know, make sure you get the fucking cassette tape and just don't get killed by one of these lurkers. And if you get knocked out or fall asleep or whatever the fuck it is, dude, I don't know what the fuck happens to you, but you get knocked the fuck out. Uh, when that happens, just don't panic, you know, just wait a second and you'll wake up. And then at the very end, just make sure that you grab the cassette tape from the captain. And if he doesn't, if you don't see him hand it to you um then he'll put it down on the side and just look for it and you'll be able to hold the square button down to pick it up and like i said you'll need that in outpost when you want to get your dj artnum uh trophy so i guess there's nothing much else to explain so i'm just going to talk to you guys about some games that i'm uh really excited about and most of you already know and a, a couple of you new guys probably don't know but the game that I'm most looking forward to um, coming up next year is going to be Tom Clancy's The Division. Have you guys seen the fucking previews for this fucking game, guys? If you haven't, you know, while you're here on YouTube, you go search um, Tom Clancy's The Division. That game looks fucking sick. And what I like about it is the story mode you can play with up to three of your friends. So there's going to be four of you total. And you, could, you guys get to play the whole entire uh, campaign mode uh, together if you want. And I did that before on the Xbox 360 um, with the Tom Clancy's Ghost Future Recon. 
and because you guys know me i love fucking campaigns and i love campaigns with a good story a good plot good cut scenes and that's loads of fun and tom clancy's uh ghost recon future soldier was one of those games and on top of all that you got to play play it with three of your buddies dude so that to me is just a uh, super fucking cool and I can't wait for it to come out, dude. The graphics look sick. The story looks sick. The story looks awesome. The plot looks awesome. You know, the dialogue and the cutscenes, they all look awesome. And just to give you a breakdown of what it's going to be about, you know, on Black Friday, you know, I don't even know how many millions of Americans, you know, just rush the malls to go shopping for, for Christmas. And just like, you know, just throw a number out there, 60 million Americans will exchange money on that day and basically what happened is on black friday a terrorist group released like 60 million dollars worth of money into the market with some type of bacteria on it that will kill you there's no cure for it so uh it just killed everybody off and so basically you know black friday a devastating pandemic sweeps through new york city and one by one basic services fail and only days without food or water society collapses into chaos the division a unit of tactical agent is activated leading seamlessly ordinary lives among us the agents are trained to operate independently in order to save society so that's basically a description of the game and then uh we got some other things you know the features uh, take back New York. Welcome to new generation experience where explore, exploration and player progression are essential. Teaming up with other division agents, your mission is to restore order, investigate the source of the virus, and take back New York. Alive and breathing world. Enter a universe where the time of day and weather conditions deeply impact your game and experience. And that was another thing that I saw in these trailers, Did uh, This new snowdrop engine that they're operating on. Uh, where you can literally see ice freezing on cars and in the roads, dude. And, like, as you're traveling through the city and the daylight turns into night and the night turns into day. And then, you know, where it just goes from cold to fucking where it's snowing. And then, you know, you've seen it, this in real life, dude. Where, like, you've seen dry streets and then it'll start snowing throughout the night. And then the next day people will drive all over the fucking snow. And then it'll get a little slushy. And then that night, dude, it freezes, and then it's hard as a fucking rock. Well, you can, like, literally see this happening in the fucking game. It's pretty cool. Like I said, if you haven't seen it, if you guys just YouTube Division, uh, Tom Clancy's The Division, then <clears throat> you'll see what I'm talking about. Dude, they'll show you the snowdrop engine and the fucking weather change and the night change, you know, from day to night. Dude, it just looks fucking awesome. So, uh, so... The day and weather condition deeply impacts your gaming experience. Use the environment to a strategic advantage to dominate fights and ambush your enemies. Urban Jungle. New York City is being overrun by hostile groups that are trying to take advantage of the crisis. One such group is the Cleaners. Wearing hazmat suits and welding flame floors, the Cleaners have nothing but ash in their wake. So, uh... You know, just reading that doesn't really sound uh, totally amazing, but if you guys watch the fucking trailer and the teaser trailer, and there's even like 15 minutes of gameplay that you can watch, if you guys watch that shit, dude, you will be excited for this game just, just like I am. A lot of my friends who have seen this fucking game, who have seen this trailer, are just as, as excited for this game as I am. I love Tom Clancy games. When I started playing video games back in 2004... I mean, I started playing video games in the early 80s, you know, on Atari and Nintendo. Uh, but then I went through my childhood and adolescent years and teenage years without playing video games. I was off doing other shit. Um, when you grew up in the 80s and 90s, dude, you were told uh, on a consistent players to go fucking play outside. Uh, so anyways, when I started playing again, I should say in 2004, I started playing on the PlayStation 2. And the first game that I ever played was The Punisher. And that fucking game was fucking awesome. I wish they would digitally remaster that fucking game. Um, but anyways, I and then I just started playing uh, Tom Clancy games, dude. Tom Clancy campaign games is what I started playing, dude. And, I, and that's when I fell in love with gaming. And then during, you know, the PlayStation 3, 
in the Modern Warfare 2 and 3 uh, online hype is when I got swept up into the online gameplay for a year or two. And then when fucking Black Ops 2 came out and, and ruined my experience, I, I didn't say fuck online gameplay altogether, but I just don't play it as much. You know, where, you know, I like to have fun playing video games. So when I do play video games, most of the time it's going to be campaign games. And, you know, like this game, uh, what the fuck else? Wolfenstein, dude. I and love that fucking game. Infamous Second Son, dude, that's another campaign game. Love the shit out of that. Uh, Laura Croft Tomb Raider, played the shit out of that. And other games that I plan on getting, another Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six uh, Siege. If you guys haven't seen that, that's fucking awesome, dude. The Order 1886 looks fucking badass. Uncharted 4 looks badass. Dying Light looks badass. Homefront, dude. If you guys played Homefront on... Uh, the 360 or the PlayStation 3, I know a lot of people talk shit about the graphics and, and all that, but to me, like I said, graphics really doesn't make a gameplay. You know, uh, a lot of people talk shit about Metro 2033 and how bad the graphics sucks, but to me, uh, that game was awesome. Homefront, the first one was fucking awesome. Now, here's the thing. The original makers of Homefront, and I forget, it's like H... HGN or some bullshit like that, dude, or THG or some some bullshit, whatever the fuck, they, they sold their company and they sold the rights to Homefront to Crytek, and Crytek Engine is pretty good, uh, they made uh, Crisis 2 and 3, and <clears throat> I don't know if any of you guys play those games, but I fucking used to love the shit out of Crisis 3, and I used to play that on multiplayer uh, <clears throat> a couple years ago. So anyways, I'm really excited for that. I think the story of the home front and the fucking with Crytek making the game, it's going to be really good, dude. So be on the lookout for that. I'm definitely going to be getting that fucking game. And what else did we have? We have Ice, Alien Isolation and then The Evil Within. All these games are coming out pretty soon. And then, of course, you got, you know, the Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, the fucking Battlefield Hardline. You know, I'm hardly excited for those games because, you know, those games come out every single fucking November. It's one vicious cycle after another. You know, you basically, you get the fucking game in November. You love the game all the way up until December and then Christmas time. <laughs> you want a new fucking game, you know, and uh, and then just, and then by the summer you end up fucking hating it. So anyways, and then we got Batman Arkham, Arkham Knights coming out. Dude, that's going to be a badass. Uh, Daylight, I don't know if you guys heard of that. Daylight's coming out. Uh, oh, Middle Earth, dude, I fucking saw a preview for that. That looks badass. And what else do we have, man? I think that's about it. Dude, that's all that I can think of. If I'm missing any, let me know in the comment section below. And basically just tell me what guy games are you guys getting. What games do you guys want? And what games... Uh, are you looking forward to and like what do you want to see playthroughs on because you guys know that I give away a copy of the game every time I do a new playthrough so when all these new games come out I'm going to be giving away a copy so you guys make sure that you stay tuned to the channel just for that you know um, obviously I don't want you guys sticking around just for the giveaways I've said this before people to subscribe to my channel that truly like me like my commentary and like my playthroughs and like the games that I'm doing playthroughs on and I don't want you to say hey I want this game just to get it for free dude I gave away four copies of this game and two of the copies one of them to Connor Sargent you know I wasn't even gonna give away two Xbox copies I had one copy of the Xbox and was gonna do a giveaway and Staves Acre 28 ended up winning that giveaway. And Connor Sargent, dude, you could just tell in the comment section below and on Twitter that he wanted this game so bad. He wanted to win this game so bad. And I could just tell that he was going to, you know, stick around for the long haul. And I ended up giving away two copies of this game for Xbox One. Um, but anyways, 
So let me know what you guys want, man. What games do you guys want and what games do you want to see on this channel, man? Let me know in the comment section below. And I really appreciate it, you know. And like I said, I'm probably going to get all of those games that I mentioned just now, dude. I have every single game that there is. So I'll be getting all those guys. I'll be getting all those fucking games. So anyways, man, uh, I pretty much ran out of shit to say. The next video that I'm going to do is going to be tomorrow. And it's going to be the last part of Chapter 4. And it's going to be the Outpost and Black Station. And I have two trophies that are level specific for those, both of those levels. Um, and I'll tell you more about those two levels tomorrow when I'm doing the video. But the, the trophies that I'll show you guys how to get will be the DJ Artinum and the Merciful. Did you get the DJ Artinum and Outpost and you get the Merciful and Black Station. Um, and Outpost, DJ Artinum, like I said, you had... You have to get the cassette tape from that guy in the beginning of this video or else you won't be able to get the DJ Artnum. Um, so if you forgot to get that fucking cassette tape, make sure you redo this fucking level and get that fucking cassette tape, okay? Um, because in Outpost, what you have to do is you have to take that cassette tape to the top of the radio tower and put it in a fucking cassette player and broadcast it over the radio. And I'll show you exactly how to do that. The e way to fucking do that and it's an easy fucking trophy to get guys so that's DJ Artnum on Outpost and then Black Station was a little tricky uh, Black Station and Black Station you get the Merciful basically what you have to do in the whole entire station you have to go through the whole entire uh, level without kill or knocking out anybody you can't knock out anybody you can't kill anybody so you basically have to sneak through the whole entire level without knocking anybody out or without killing anybody and you'll get the merciful and i'll show you guys how to do that tomorrow in tomorrow's video so i'm going to go ahead and stop this commentary right here i hope you guys enjoy the rest of, the rest of this video without any commentary and I just want to take the time right now to say thanks for stopping, thanks for watching. Hit that like button, hit that sub button, hit that share button. Tell your friends about me. Tell your friends about my giveaways. Tell your friends my fucking giveaways are legit. And until next time, peace. They jumped at him. He started shooting, but then a big Nosalus bit him in the neck. But Uncle is really strong. He killed it with a knife. You don't look as strong as Uncle. I'll have to help you, or we'll both get eaten. Get It's in a safe place till I'm old enough to shoot, but you can borrow it when your gun wears out.
Hey, look out! There's a hole! People should not throw grenades in here. Mom said the ceiling is weak and could come crashing down. There's one more! Really leaving the station? Cool! I've never been to the tunnels before. Mom says there's a scary place where the kids go missing. Mom wow! What's that up there? Wait, Uncle showed me a picture once. The s sky! That's the sky, isn't it? It's like a painted ceiling. I'll be famous. I saw the sky! Do you think we can climb all the way to the sky? Wait, I don't really want to go this high. Don't drop me. Bring him back. Mommy! That's my mom! Let's go! She's looking for me! Thanks, Let me go! Let me go to her! Any idea how much that boy means? His father is really important yes. to all of us. And if his son died, then Wait, where is he would have killed him. How him, did you get here? Uncle is dead, Mom. Thank you. But this man took me on his shoulders. I helped him shoot the monsters. Mom, I saw the sky. Mom, I saw the sky. Thank you for saving my son. I can never repay you. But uh, take these cartridges, at least it's something. All right, let's go. Bang! 
and problems gone. So make sure you can count to five. Stuff is falling out of your pockets already. You can shave with it. It's reserved. You're welcome. Special offers, discounts, best guns from the Forge Masters. Whatever. Come through. 